absolute thrill to, to have you oh, here. Oh, thank you very much. I'm a fan, you know. Oh, well, thank uh, you very oh, much. Oh, yeah. Oh. I like the way you move. You move pretty good. <laughs> Dick Van Dyke is a famous American actor, director, writer, singer, dancer, TV producer, film producer, radio announcer, and screenwriter. He's famous for his roles in iconic musical films such as Bye Bye Birdie, Mary Poppins, and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. The award-winning career of this actor has spanned seven decades. This actor has won a Grammy Award, five Primetime Emmy Awards, and a Tony Award. Back in 1995, Van Dyke was inducted into the Television Hall of Fame, and in 2013, he received the SAG Life Achievement Award, which is the Screen Actors Guild's highest honor. Dick has been inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Completely blew me away. Oh, so funny and so original, and then I find out you're not a trained dancer. No, no, I, I never even thought about dancing until I was in my 30s, till I had to. <laughs> If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Richard Wayne Van Dyke, but is also known as Dick Van Dyke. He was born December 13, 1925 in West Plains, Missouri, making him 95 at the time of this production. He stands at 6 feet tall or 1.85 meters. The star sign of Dick Van Dyke is Sagittarius. In the past, he struggled with alcoholism and checked into a hospital for three weeks in 1972 to be treated for this addiction. He's now sober. Back in 1987, his granddaughter Jessica died from Rye Syndrome. Van Dyke appeared in a series of commercials to raise public awareness of the danger of aspirin to children. This actor was a heavy smoker for most of his adult life, and he stated in an interview in 2013 that he'd been using Nicorette gum for the past 10 years. He also revealed in 2013 that he experienced symptoms of a neurological disorder for seven years. However, no diagnosis has been made despite Van Dyke's undergoing tests. Van Dyke was made an honorary life member of the Society for the Prevention and Encouragement of Barbershop Quartet Singing in America back in 1999. Back in the year 1948, Van Dyke married former Marjorie Willett on a radio show called Bride and Groom. The couple had four children together, including Christian, Barry, Stacy, and Carrie Beth. Marjorie and Van Dyke married on the radio show because the show paid for the wedding rings, household appliances, and a honeymoon. And after their wedding, the pair had to live in their car for a while since they were so poor at the time. In 1984, the pair divorced after a long separation. Then he started dating Michelle Triola Marvin. They lived together for over 30 years until Michelle's death in 2009. All of his children are married and Van Dyke has seven grandchildren. Van Dyke married makeup artist Arlene Silver on February 29, 2012. At that time, Van Dyke was 86 years old and Silver was 40 years old. The pair had met at the SAG Awards in 2006. I had Gower Champion, who was the director and the choreographer of Bye Bye Birdie. Yeah. And he said, we'll teach you. And he did. And it was a discovery like flying. He was born to stenographer Hazel Victoria and salesman Lauren Wayne Cookie Van Dyke. His father died in 1976 and his mother died in 1992. Dick Van Dyke grew up in Danville in Illinois, and his younger brother was the famous actor Jerry Van Dyke. Unfortunately, Jerry died back in 2018. Jerry was very well known for a role in the television series Coach. Let me also tell you that Van Dyke is a Dutch surname, and Dick has English, Scottish, and Irish ancestry too. The family line of Van Dyke traces back to Mayflower passenger John Alden. Bobby Short and Donald O'Connor were his high school classmates, the family of his mother was very religious, and Dick also considered a career in ministry at once in his youth. However, he attended a drama class in high school, which convinced him that his true calling was as a professional entertainer. Even after Van Dyke became a successful actor, he taught Sunday school at the Presbyterian Church. He was an elder in his church, and Van Dyke continued to read theologians such as Paul Tillich, Dietrich Bonhoeffer, and Martin Bubber. In 1944, this actor left high school during his senior year. He intended to join the U.S. Army Air Forces as a pilot during the Second World War. However, Van Dyke was denied enlistment many times because he was underweight. 
Eventually, Van Dyke was accepted for service as a radio announcer. Later, he was transferred to the special services and entertaining troops in the continental United States. Back in 2004, Van Dyke received his high school diploma. At the time, he was 78 years old. In the late 1940s, this man was a radio DJ in Danville when he formed a duo with Phil Erickson in 1947. The duo was called Eric and Van, the Merry Mutes. They toured the West Coast nightclub circuit and used to perform a mime act and lip sync to old 78 records. Then in the early 1950s, the team brought their act to Atlanta in Georgia. They performed on a local TV show performing original skits and music known as the Merry Mutes. Dick made his Broadway debut in 1959 when he appeared in The Girls Against the Boys. Later, he starred in Bye Bye Birdie, which ran from 1960 to 1961. He started his career in TV by appearing in a comedy program on WDSU-TV in New Orleans, Channel 6. This channel is now called NBC. In 1954, he appeared in James Chances of a Lifetime, which was his first appearance on network TV. He also appeared on NBC's The Polly Bergen Show. Moreover, Van Dyke played in ABC's The Pat Boone Chevy Showroom. In 1961, the actor starred in his own sitcom called The Dick Van Dyke Show. He played the character of comedy writer Rob Petrie. The show was successful and ran until 1966. His next project was the new Dick Van Dyke Show. This show ran from 1971 to 1974. Although this show was less successful as compared to the previous one, Van Dyke still won a Golden Globe nomination for his performance. The third show, named after Van Dyke, was Van Dyke and Company. It was a short-lived sketch comedy show and featured Super Dave Osborne and Andy Kaufman. Dick also enjoyed a successful film career. In 1964, he starred in Mary Poppins, and Van Dyke is also a successful author. He published his first book, Alter Egos, in 1967. Then in 1970, Van Dyke published a book titled Faith, Hope, and Hilarity. In 1975, the actor published his third book called Those Funny Kids. And from 1993 to 2001, Van Dyke appeared in the TV drama Diagnosis Murder. In 2017, Van Dyke recorded a single duet for Christmas with the popular actress Jane Lynch. They're on me like a pack of bulls. Uh, I mean, it was the worst Cockney accent ever done, but I was... The guy who taught me was an Irishman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The primary source of his wealth is film and television. The actor has earned money from acting, directing, producing, and screenwriting. Moreover, Van Dyke also made millions of dollars from brand endorsements. He's also a published author and has earned money from various books such as Alter Egos, Those Funny Kids, and Keep On Moving, and other tips and truths about aging. The total net worth of Dick Van Dyke is $50 million. The successful actor currently lives in his house in Malibu, California. The property is worth nearly $9 million, and Van Dyke's house features a spacious kitchen, swimming pool, four bedrooms, and three bathrooms. Dick Van Dyke likely owns the following cars, a Volkswagen Beetle, a Jaguar XJ, a Porsche 911 E Targa, a BMW, a Mercedes CLK.